All right, you are welcome back. So in this question now, the question says, find the solution of the equation x minus 8 square root of x plus 15 equal to 0. So one thing I want you to have in mind that this equation you see here is actually a quadratic equation, even though it does not look like a quadratic equation because it does not have x squared. But we're going to uh, arrange it now in the order of quadratic equation so that we can solve it like a quadratic equation. So the first thing to be done to this quadratic or to this equation now is to square both sides of this equation. Therefore, we now have that x squared minus or plus into minus 8 square root of x all squared plus 15 squared is equal to 0. Very important that we've arrived at this. So the next thing to be done now is to evaluate the square, all right? So we have this that this is actually s squared um, plus minus 8 all squared into square root of x all squared plus 15 square equal to 0. So of course, this square will cancel this square root. Now we have that this is x squared plus um, square, square of, uh, that is square of minus 8 squared, which is minus 8 times minus 8, will give us positive 64, all right, plus 64. Now, of course, this one will come out as x, so we have 64x plus minus 15 times 15 should be 225, 225 equal to Zero. So this now is nothing but a quadratic equation. So we are going to be using almighty formula to solve this quadratic equation now because at this part, at this level now it is it now looks like a quadratic equation. So using almighty formula that says that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. And of course. Um, where a in this case is equal to 1, b is equal to 64, and c is equal to 225. Okay, so we're going to plug in these values into this equation, and hence we're going to have that x is equal to minus 64 plus or minus square root of 64 squared minus 4 into 1 into 2, 2, 5, all over 2 into 1. Therefore, we are going to have that this is x equal to minus 64 plus or minus square root of 3196 all over 2. Hence, we have that x so rather x1 is equal to minus 64 plus square root of 3196 all over 2 and x2 is equal to minus 64 minus square root of 3196 all over 2. So we're going to be evaluating this and evaluating this. So if we evaluate this and this, we're going to have hence x1 is equal to minus 3.7334 and x2 is equal to minus 60.2665. Okay, so this is it about this question.